can see how they just played around Zas. It's more of a defensive kind of play than an offensive kind of play. I think I think Zas was especially good, uh, not to mention that, because Hayabusa was locked in. They were trying to control the waves. And the thing is, when you have Hayabusa, you have four members pushing and holding holding off objectives that Your Hayabusa is, is allowed to push. But uh, when you have Zas, <laughs> yep, when you have the likes of Zask and Diggy, they can't even, the four can't even fight and you can take objectives like it's nothing. But Reborn, they got, they gave that respect. They're like, hey, no, we're not gonna let you play Diggy. That is not just so, okay, th this is what I'm talking about. Like, you have to ban the Diggy after seeing how well Ken played that. Like, Evil X couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Silo tried Your to do something but couldn't picking. do anything. Kenpachi oh, tried man. to do something, but it's most of the time always trying to pick a fight away from Diggy because oh, yeah. he needs to get that really solid divine judgment. Yep. But at the same time, Resurge is banning out the Kaya, so we're not gonna be able to see any kind of hooks and pulls. Mm. But this opens up towards Harith in the pool. Yeah, Harith is up on the table and Reborn is gonna lock that in. Resurgence feeling a little confident here. Picking. I'm expecting them to have something up their sleeve. Looks like it's gonna be the Grok at first. What's the next pick? Akai. Ooh, Akai as well. Okay, Evil X Akai. Uh, I know, no, it's Resurgence picking. Akai. Mm -hmm. Now, Akai's pretty good here because at least he can, like, you know, interrupt yeah. and isolate and push away Harith if given the opportunity. I, I think, okay, I think Aeon, uh, I think Swan is gonna play the Grok and then Ken is gonna play the Akai. Potential, potentially. Yeah. But let's In see what regard. else. But Reborn gonna be taking shadowing on the Tamos. Uh, pretty nice here. They do not want to give. I don't know. I think the Tamos is didn't work really well here from side of Reborn against the Leomon. Like I think Long was kind of struggling on that hero picking. from side uh, no. Reborn. Well, mainly because mid was already always yeah, the mid it was out of control. Of, yeah, it was, it was out, out of control. control. They were just running around, so they couldn't bad. do much here. However, Resurgence, they're gonna be locking in the Hayabusa. They are giving so much disrespect to Reborn, letting Harith through. I'm not sure if that's a mistake or not, but I think if I was Reborn, I would say I'm getting rid of Minsitar easily. Yeah, they should. They should. They should definitely take out Minsitar here. But at the same time, Gushan is still in the pool. They they have the Cho here from Long. Uh, it's, I don't I don't favor a uh, tank Cho here. I definitely favor a damage Cho more. But at the same time fine. here, they really picked up three a mage of two fighters here in this regard. So they definitely need potentially one more tank or maybe a double tank because I I still kind of want to see an MM pick here, a marksman pick here from side reborn. Yeah, yeah, they still need that consistent damage yeah, they, if Harith somehow gets caught off or dies very early exactly. on into the fight. So at least they have that backup plan. I get what you're saying. But Resurgence, on the other hand, I think for them, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to really ban on because at this point, everything is on the table. It just doesn't matter. So you get rid of Hellcurt. I'm pretty sure they were not going to pick Hellcurt to begin with, mm -hmm. but at least they kind of open up open up avenues for what they get to play. Now, they get the first lock-in here. What are they going to do? Are they going to lock Selena in? Selena is still in the pool, though. Oh, Selena is yeah. still in the Selena pool. Selena is in the pool. Like, I, I know the single party teams might actually play. And Selena. Lunox as well. Yeah, Lunox. Wait, yeah, Lunox. Mm -hmm. Why is Lunox being ignored? Your oh no, Lunox is, is first picking. ban, bro. Oh yeah, Lunox yeah, is first ban. Ah, like, I didn't see it. Yeah, nah, but of course, but of course. What is okay, happening? Gushin makes sense. Gushin makes sense. Why? Why? Are Reborn you picking a Lancelot? I think they just really want to run around and fight, I guess. I, I guess. I yeah, they, they can. Because mobility wise, Harif is so mobile. Cho is kind of mobile as well with the flicker. Tamus is kind of mobile. Lancelot is definitely mobile. I guess. And the last pick, Bellerick with the Leomon. Yeah, I, I, kinda, I like that. I like I that. I like that for Reborn. Your this feels like picking. a big daddy comp. They just want to run around. They just want to fight as as five. They can fight as four. They can interchange the pieces every single time. They are looking to fight and kill every single person whenever they can and whenever they have the opportunity. Yeah, I, I I like Reborn's uh, decision right now. Like they are gonna be playing around side uh on the Harry with these guys. Mm -hmm. it, it might be long playing the. Is it long? I'm pretty confident. Is it gonna it's be long? long? No, I think Long is gonna play the Damos in this regard. That Rin is gonna play. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But. I don't know, I, I feel like it's going to be playing all around Harry. If Harry makes a play, Harry's going to win. Yeah, Long's going to play the, the Harry here. Mm -hmm. But from the side of Resurgence, they kind of have to slow down the tempo here from the side of Reborn and then just punish their way through because the carry is going to come up online later in the 8 minute, 10 minute mark in this regard. So, mm -hmm. I don't know, because level 4 feels really, really weird here. Reborn have a composition where level 1 to 4, they'll easily dominate exactly. every single fight. Same, like, same goes for Resurgence, but only if the Gushan gets a couple of nice pills, but 
Not it's, much here. Yeah, it's honestly tough. I think Resurgence has a good mid game, but it's not as good compared to Reborn if they get a very dominant early game. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna have to see whether Resurgence can play to the plan of we gotta don't let don't get any paper cuts, don't bleed in the early stages of the game. Look to play the mid game, start getting strong there. That's where we need to choose our fights very carefully because Harith is so strong in a lot of situations that it's hard to just pin him down. I, I think this might be Reborn's game here just because the Harry is beautiful. Yes, like it's just ridiculous to play around it and I, I don't think they have any kind of initiations to deal with the Harry. Harry. Like if you had Kaya it's fine, you have something to actually slow down his momentum or any hard lockdowns here. Maybe a Saber but Saber is out of mana so... Okay the only way to lockdown is probably Ken here from side Resurgence so... Ken played so well on the Diggy. Can he play even better on the Akai himself? Yeah, that, that is a possibility. It's gonna be uh, gonna be interesting, but again, he shouldn't be taking this train. Oh, Aeon takes quite a bit of damage. Ah, oh, that's a huge swing as well from uh, Swan there. But in this case, they are gonna be going for equal trade. It's mm -hmm. a okay. We are not gonna be contesting each other's jungle in this regards. So reborn. Playing is safe, respecting each other, very safe, same concept here. Mall feels like a pub game, but okay. Well, Jay, just kidding. <laughs> nah, this is not a pub game, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a pub game. Well, to be perfectly honest, I do think Reborn should be looking to invade as much as possible. Their level 1s and 2s are so much stronger. Yeah, speaking of which, they are going to be diving in here. Lud going to be in some trouble here. The burst is there and they will get first blood here. And as soon as you say it, level 1, level 2, Reborn does exactly like that. And now the paper cuts begin. Small little cuts, but they add up to eventually become a very, very painful wound if this continues to push any further. But again, I mean, the kill going on, the kill going on the silo, not gonna be as much health unless it went on to the Harith. Aeon's we'll gonna see. get that level 4 really soon here. Now with the level 4 and the arcane boots here, will you be able to get any kind of pick up? Oh, the Zayman Force actually missing there. Very close call. Nice little dodge there from Gushin, but it starts off, slows out the momentum here. But look at this, like, playing this aggressively, but looks like just to scare off Kepachi. Yeah. Looks like oh, they are wow. setting up a dive this, onto Obi. Oh no, Obi. Oh no, Obi. Oh no, they are going for it. Obi, it's a trouble. Isn't it pops the screen here? Isn't going to be making it out alive? They are flickering forward here. Choke catches it on a whip. And the boom! Shakalaka. To seal the deal. They see four member, they immediately went to the top side. They're looking for a response. Can they do this fast enough? It's super They're rotating. Resurgence. They're going for it. They know oh. the turtle is there, but resurgence. Instant reply is so quick. Now they're gonna go for more silo. Is it there? Swan runs away here and they will make it out live. That's a fantastic trade-off here from Resurgence. I mean Resurgence is looking for any possible way, but hopefully they don't allow their carries to die because they need time. But Silo is doing a lot of work with that third hit on the Chikundo. Getting those knockups are very, very crucial. Oh, that was a very quick reaction here from Resurgence to actually instantly go for the trade-off in Turtle. Like that was something I wasn't expecting at all, but quick reactions there, fantastic work. And now Resurgence trying to slow down the tempo and I've talked about this early on. They need to slow down the tempo here from Reborn and that's about it. And so far, that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, and I think Resurgence clear. Oh, wow. Silo won a kick there, Ken, with the ultimate here. But unfortunately for him, Zayman Force will catch him off guard. I think what Resurgence is doing a really good job because they're trading objectives across the map. They don't necessarily want to get into this 5v5. So they're like, okay, if we sacrifice one person, can we get an objective? Because we know that our mid game is really, really strong. So this is actually playing towards their strengths and playing towards the strategy that they determine with their team composition. Really nice stuff here coming from Resurgence. But now Reborn here, they seem to be going for this kind of pickoffs here. You can see so much roaming has been done here from Silo, but he's kind of slowly but surely losing his levels already. Yeah, I mean, Silo, uh, I mean, he'll eventually scale off. He's going to go into that tank role anyway. So I think he's pretty happy with the amount of work he's done so far, but I think he wants to do a little bit more before he scales off. Oh, that thought for now. Evo X does scout out a couple oh, of players no. here from Side Resurgence, but they want the objective here. It's gonna be Kempachi. Get scouted out here. Gushan misses the arrow here. But nope, he gets taken down. The dagger eventually finishes the ball. Nice oh. little trigger here. Now the Evo X pops out of the one re engage <laughs> But long, he gets destroyed here. Ken once oh. again with the place. But Zayman Force goes with the play. Here he comes. Spam, spam, spam. Good he do, brah. And now he's gonna do even more damage here. And long makes a comeback. Surprise, Mata. Oh my goodness, Resurgence. 
botched that up Mega so Shield. hard. Oh, wow. Lord was at one HP. Wait, let's open up the battle spells real quick. I need to know. Yup, Bellerick is the one who has the heal, and that pretty much saved Lum from that last hit. Oh my goodness. Resurgence, they had the pick. They got the Hurricane Dance of a lifetime, and they couldn't capitalize on it. But you've seen how strong the... the the Harim is like the moment you give him out of control, his aim and for he's just casually right clicking his room with the second skill. The mobility is just next level. It's almost zero cooldown on his spells here, and that is on top of the nerf already. I can I can just see the highlight clips in my head. The moment that he's out of the hurricane dance, you just play the silver scrims. Pew 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 as he just destroys everybody. Sorry, can you repeat that? Pew pew pew. <laughs> pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what happened. He's gonna be pew 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 mother toot, oh in that boy. regards. But here comes the Zayman for us. Can gas counted out here. He goes to force out the hurricane dance, but oh, looks no, like he, oh. he wants more. He makes it out alive here, but That's good. That's good, that's good. They don't give any more kills over to Lung. They already gave him four kills. They can't afford to give him any more. Let's look at the items real quick. I want to see how far ahead he is. Oh, Calamity Reaper. Oh, wow. Wow. That was fast. That that's, was fast. That's really quick as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rest of the team just isn't able to comply as much. Maybe at the very least, Gushin has a Calamity Reaper of his own, but it just means that once Harith, once Harith gets his concentrated energy, he is just going to kill people so quickly. Yeah, he's just so much spell like sustainability in these kind of team fights here. And he kind of needs resurgence to come up online even faster here. But slowly but surely, they're making the right place now. They're buying time for Orbi to actually come up online. And so far, Orbi is doing a fantastic work trying to keep him alive. And he's only died once so far. Yep, yep. And Lun already getting that play to have to seize And Baji. Oh, 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 this is the deck. So close, so close. Ever so close, but wait, this might be the fight of a lifetime. Oh no, Ken gets destroyed instead. Now Silo is in trouble. Obby making a run for you, Carry with the sprint. He tries to make a run for you, and he makes it out alive, but still, Lud tried to make a couple spells here. They will lose the tank here, but eventually, Gushin gets taken down by Solo. Mm. Alone, all by himself down bottom lane. I think Resurgence overconfidence in letting Harith go is starting to bite them back. And they're losing members left, right, and center. And 4k gold over to Reborn already. They're gonna extend this even further. This is not looking too good here. But still, Resurgence hanging on a whiff here. Looking for to close the series with the 2 0 win here. But at the same time, Reborn is leading up by at least 5k economy network here. Now, a turtle in the can try to make the plays here. But Xamarin for keeping it at bay can't even pop. The Hurricane Dance gets destroyed. Swan is going to be next. And look at this. Look, just destroying everyone left, double right, and center. Kill. The Phantoms need to seal the deal. A double kill for Rin. Oh, Reborn in the driver's seat, dictating the pace of the game. But Lud, he's going to look to trade an objective here. Leaderboard is going to respond. Will he get there in time, though? Looks like he does. And the rest of the team is playing the map so, so well. And Baji gets scouted out. He's going to be able to down here. Goes for the push here. Aeon can't seem to finish well, but Kenpachi is surviving this year. Just so strong. Kenpachi slowly but surely, but he's going up live in the red. Going for the oh. map hacks here, but he's not going to work out. Can he finish him off? Lund dodging him with it on an inch here. He's buying a little bit of time, but they can't seem to finish him off. Rin, he really wants this kill. He's just dancing no, around. No, he's just dancing around. Lund oh just wants goodness. to farm his way through, but at the same time, you're off he's the map is here. Now, they catch off Silo here with the Hurricane Dance, chaining up with the stun, but the Battering Ultimate just keeping him alive. They can't seem to finish him off. Silo is still alive. How is he alive? But at the same time here, Rin getting scouted out by himself here. They have been dancing his their way through, but Lund eventually gets taken down. I mean, they should rotate immediately for the side of Reborn. They should have immediately rotated over the top side and pick up two free kills because there was no way that they could get out in time had they responded straight away. But instead, they were looking to punish them in the jungle and they are extending their goalie even more, pushing it up to 8k. In the mighty jungle, the Bellary releases the wrath of his ultimate. Oh, oh my god, Silo just surviving through all that damage output and manages to go for a return kill. That was just hard to watch here. That would have been... Oh, hate the one for resurgence. That would definitely be a tilter at that point. But right now, Lun, even though he's trying to find objectives across the map, he is finding some sort of success, but not enough to really propel the team ahead. And resurgence are Lord, going to have to give up a lot wow. of these tier twos. Dominant's eyes up on Silo as well. How do you kill this show now? I, I, I have no idea how they're planning on killing the show. Oh, speaking of which, Silo catches us too. He pops out, but the Damon Force catches us too. But he pays with a lie, but still, bursting down. Maybe the Gushin almost actually 
surviving that, but still, that was a really, really ballsy play here from Reborn, and they are getting desperate right now from Sire Reborn. They are so desperate. They're even, uh, they've come to a point where they're just using Aeon and Swan to hold and clear the wave. Oh no. Oh no, Aeon is right here. Zayman Force, you can see Long Chilling focusing onto Aeon here, but at the same time, how are they surviving? Lun almost get paid with his life. Swan with the flicker as well. Kenpachi diving in forward to get the tag, but Kenpachi will lose his life as well here. One for one trade off, and once again, you can see the desperation on Reborn's eyes. Resurgence is slowly but surely buying in so much time for this carry to come up online. Absolutely! That was a really great play by Resurgence. They're baiting it out, making sure that Harith doesn't have just one target to focus on, and they're all just being super, super slippery. However, their flickers are down. They probably can't do it again, so they gotta be so, so careful. Now, all the outer tiers has been taken down. Okay, Aeon, you cannot afford to die right now. They are going to be going for a trade-off here, but now, Lan, there's nothing much you can do. Oh, no, you could not afford to lose that round, but at the same time, here, Reborn starting onto the, the lot now. The outer here, Towers has been fallen here. Resurgence, they need to make this kind of play right now or then or not. They're going to be losing their inhibitors. Yeah, the inhibitors are definitely going to go down. Looks like there's no points of contention for the side Speaking of Speaking of which, here, Valerie going to be getting dived on here. He's going to get stunned out. And now, Evil X will be the first casualty from Sun Reborn here. Buying a little bit of time for them, but still, the Lord has been slain here by Kempashi. They're gonna be backing off, but the rest of the team reborn wants to take oh, this fight. Oh, they want this. They want this fight. Raiden going in falls deep here, but Long is not ready in the situation to pop the same across. And it looks like Resurgence will back off this year, but Lord will be knocking on the doors on towards Resurgence down to his middle lane here. They are. They need to make a play here. It's now or never. Obi needs to shine up right now. Uh, it's a tough, it's an uphill battle for Hero. Uh, Reborn have already picked up their fourth items. Resurgence haven't even completed their second or third oh, items. Nice block there as well from Swan. Delaying the, the Lord here. The Lord slowly but surely gets taken down. Fantastic defense so far. And Reborn, they can't seem to make any kind of trade offs here. This Lord has been gone for nothing here. Now, Resurgence, they're defending their best to their abilities here, but the Creep Waves are slowly pushing in, and they manage to defend all lanes, surprisingly. The only lane is getting pressured right now is down bottom lane, and that is even so. Lun is defending this here. Fantastic defense here coming from Resurgence. Excuse me, what? Reborn? What is oh, he oh, does no. the catch! Oh no, Zayman Frost, Evil X pops out of the money. will get the inhibitor, Ken goes for out there, catches on the two, where's the Wobble combo? Ken's gonna get both destroyed here, and the Phantom Team wipes the floor, double kill over here for Harif here, and oh, now no. they are going to go for more, and they're all dead. It's a wipeout, it's a wobble combo, oh, they're all dead. And it's, that's it, that's the show, boys, as Reborn take a game off of Resurgence in convincing fashion. That's why you don't let Harif through if you're not prepared to deal with him. Oh, no, that that was so... That, that, that last fight right there, Reborn, Resurgence felt like they had a glimmer of hope to actually come back from this, but the moment Ken landed that really solid Phantom Dance, everything was just like, hey, you know, this is the Wombo combo. And the moment they gloved up, Zayman Force just landed on everyone. It was like, okay. Yeah, it was literally just one mistake coming in from Resurgence that just propelled tenfold Lung into the game. He got 